Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. This video will be an introduction to factoring. Now before we actually get into factoring expressions, I want to give you a little bit of context for why we've been putting so much emphasis on prime factorization and greatest common factor. So let me remind you of what these things mean. Prime factorization is finding all the factors of a number that are prime, hence the name, aka breaking down a number until we can't break it down anymore. We've been doing this using factor trees. For example, if I wanted to find the prime factorization of the number 12, I would break it down and say 12 is 4 times 3, and 4 can be broken down to 2 times 2. After that, 12 can't be broken down anymore because the numbers 2, 2, and 3 are prime. So the prime factorization of 12 would be 2 times 2 times 3. Now the same idea applies when we add in a variable. We know that x squared can be broken down to x times x, so then the prime factorization of 12x squared would be 2 times 2 times 3, like we found before, times x times x. So get used to using that vocabulary, prime factorization. Now when you're asked to find the greatest common factor, or GCF, that's when you're given two or more terms, and you have to find the biggest number that exists that divides those numbers evenly. So if I was to try to find the GCF of 8 and 12, I would ask myself, what number divides both? Hmm, 2 goes into 8 evenly, and 2 goes into 12 evenly, so 2 is a factor. That's true. But... The number 4 also divides 8, and the number 4 also divides 12. 4, in this case, is the biggest number that goes into both evenly. So the GCF of 8 and 12 is 4. I'm just going to write that up here. You can think about it that way, or you can confirm your answer using factor trees. Let's do it. 8 is the same thing as 4 times 2. 4 can be broken down to 2 times 2. So the prime factorization of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Let's do the same thing with 12. 12 is 4 times 3. 4 is 2 times 2. All these numbers are prime, so the prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Now to find the greatest common factor, we ask ourselves, what prime factors do these numbers share? They share a 2, they share another 2, and that's it. This one has a 2 and this one has a 3, so they don't share anything more. 2 times 2 is 4, so 4 would be the GCF of 8 and 12. Now the same idea applies when there are variables involved. Thinking about this intuitively, thinking about the variables, 8x cubed has 3x's, 12x squared has 2x's. So ask, asking ourselves what they share, they both share 2x's because they both have 2x's. But, breaking this down into prime factorization can prove it. 8, we said, is 2 times 2 times 2. x cubed is x times x times x. 12, we said, was 2 times 2 times 3. And x squared is x times x. Now again, asking ourselves what they share. They share 2. They share another 2. They share an x. They share another x. And that's it.
2 times 2 times x times x is 4x squared. So the GCF of 8x cubed and 12x squared is 4x squared. Now this sets us up into factoring expressions. Factoring expressions requires us to also think about the leftovers as we've referred to them in class. What this means is that we are dividing, or taking out as I like to say, the GCF from the term that we are given. So in this case, the GCF is 4x squared, and the term that we're given is 8x cubed and 12x squared. Let's take out 4x squared from each term. If we take out 4x squared from 8x cubed, here's what happens. We're taking 4 out of 8 by dividing, and we're left with 2. Now we're taking x squared from x cubed, and we're left with x. So 2x would be the leftovers. Now let's do the same thing with 12x squared. When we take 4 out of 12 by dividing, we are left with 3. Now we take x squared out of x squared. There are no x's left, so the leftovers in this case would just be 3. Continue on to the next video to get into factoring expressions.